And the other thing that I wanted to do today here is this adversarial prompting. What I mean by that is a persona, an agent or something like that, that is actually going to check the writing and say if it's if it's not good enough. So let's let's test this out. So we I need two names, two two names for our the names of what we're going to call our AI agents today. All right, so we'll go with Jeeves. Jeeves is a stickler for literary details. If a scene outline has plot elements, Jeeves can read sample of fiction, the scene outline, and write a report about how faithful the sample of fiction fits to the scene outline. Jeeves identifies parts of the fiction sample that do not fit the scene outline and anything, any plot elements in the fiction outline that are missing from the fiction sample. All right, so that's Jeeves. Benjamin reads Jeeves report and rewrites the fiction sample so that any deficiencies or failures of the fiction sample to adhere to the scene outline are fixed. Benjamin keeps the overall writing style of the fiction sample but can write new dialogue, action beats, and description to enhance the fiction sample. Amanda is a literary agent who evaluates fiction samples on how well they are written for a specific genre audience. Amanda is given a reader audience profile and writes a report on any parts of the fiction sample that would disappoint a reader of that specific genre. And finally, we will do Alice. Alice Alice is, is an extraordinary, talented author who reads Amanda's report and the fiction sample and rewrites the fiction sample so that a reader of the specific genre is happy. Any suggestions? in Amanda's report are followed for the rewrite of the fiction sample. Alice's rewrite can create new descriptions, dialogue, and story prose for the final rewrite. Okay, so I have these four personas. Is everyone starting to understand what we're doing here a little bit? So Jeeves, Benjamin, Amanda, Alice. And now I'm going to use 16K. So we're going to start this off with just one, one section of best prose. So it has this information. So I'm going to go fiction sample. Because that's one of my things. And then I'm going to go scene outline. And the scene outline is literally going to just be the beats. And in order for me to get the beats, this is why I save all my beats. All right, so the scene outline is here. And I'm gonna get this information here and we're gonna put it in the playground. There we go. So that's the scene outline. Be Jeeves and click submit.
And there's a report of Jeeves. All right, include a sentence or two that highlights the soft sound of conversation, enhance the characterization. B. Benjamin. So now he's revising the fiction sample. Okay, I'm really impressed with this. I did not think that this would happen. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. Now I need a reader profile. <laughs> I don't have a reader audience profile. So for that, I'm going to go over to ChatGPT. How would you describe the reader audience profile of a modern reader who loves variations of Pride and Prejudice? I like the psychographics. Now, this will make everyone go like, well, why don't we just use this prompt for the AI to write in the first place? Because it takes a lot of prompting for the AI to follow a set of beats and information and get that first draft. I really think the future of writing with AI is figuring out these, these layers that we have to run the text through until we get something that, that kind of passes for it could have been written by a human. Okay, so we have some information here and I'm gonna say great, because I liked most of it. And I'm gonna say, uh, talk about the writing styles, specifically a higher percentage of dialogue, what a classic story might have. All right, so it's giving this and I wanna know oh, about the writing style. All right, so I'm gonna grab this. And I'm gonna bring it into 3.5. Please summarize the above reader profile. Intellectually curious, they enjoy exploring how familiars can take on new life. They may have a preference for novels that blend romance, social commentary. These readers are likely to be frequent readers. So I don't want that last line. So I just want this and I'm gonna take out that middle line. I'm gonna put down here, reader audience profile. Now, one way you can save tokens is if you don't wanna have four personas, you could just have the two and that would save on your tokens. Yes, perfect. So this is what I want for the reader profile. Let's see what happens. So be Amanda, and we'll see if it reads the one up here. Okay, so it did understand the revised fiction sample aligns well. However, there's a few areas. Verbal sparring matches. Let's see if it can do it. Be Alice. End of report of Amanda. I'm going to, I'm going to put a kibosh on this for right now because it, it has promise to it. Um, and I could just go be Alice and add in dialogue between the characters. Let's see if I can do that. Cause that's what I want. That's something that's cool about this. If you have a persona, you can add in additional commands there, but I'm not seeing any conversation. There we go. Perfect. Thank you for joining us on something wickedly cool in AI. Um, this is what we do in our lab sessions. So the Future Fiction Academy is eight labs a week. You can come live, you can watch the replays after, you get the transcript, you also get the lab report. So the five of us are the main instructors for Future Fiction Academy, and we work together to specialize in different parts of AI tools to come up with really innovative prompting and how to use these tools in our everyday publishing careers. So if you would like to join the Future Fiction Academy, we would love to have you because uh, it's a community that is AI positive and we're all working together to stay on top of this new technology before we all get left behind. So by sticking together, we, you know, for example, I kind of specialize in open AI and prompt engineering. Um, who here specializes in series writing, novellas and novels? Yep, and yep. And then who specializes in mid journey and all of the artistic stuff? And <laughs> yep. So basically, between the instructors, we all have overlapping skills and we invite you. It has a three day free trial. We invite you to come join us and have fun because we love to play with this stuff um, and we love to share, share it. So hope to see you in lab soon. Bye. I've never done this before, so, but I think it's gonna work. That's my famous last words, right? <laughs>